Hello everyone, today we're looking at the Aoshima Game Center, part of the mobile catering series. So let's see exactly what is in this quite tight box. Now I will start off by showing you your decals. Now of course you get loads on here, loads of different you know, arcade games, Combat War, Oregon, like a racing game, you've got Something that I can't even read because it is in Japanese, of course. It looks very similar to Pac-Man, but like a rocket version. You've got some sort of baseball game. You've also got sort of a slot machine as well. Now, this is really, really cool. I love this. You get two separate uh, JDM plates. You can either use the sort of road ones, or you've got ones with Japanese writing on, of course. And the various different decals that can go in the windscreen as well. So, yeah, let's see what is in this box then. I've took the instructions out guys, there is a link in the description for that. It is quite a simple kit, I guess, but there is a lot of decal work. So, you know, it sort of offsets that a little bit. They're basically little Suzuki carry vans. They're all the same. You of course put all the different panels on, you know, as you wish. There's a nice bit of detailing on there. Typical Aoshima, you know, it's, it really is good quality. I can't find any huge mould lines to be perfectly honest with you. you know, it all looks... I'll flip it that way, it's easier for you to see. <laughs> it's unusual to get sun in England, so it's, uh, it's a bit strange, but... You know, it's very nice indeed. You know, you've got the bits there to put the wing mirror in, a bit of strengthening there. I'd leave that until, you know, the last possible minute if you can. But yeah, it's very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Now, I will show you your interior pieces. Here is, of course, your interior sort of cooking area, which doesn't get used, I don't think. I'm actually going to check that. No, it doesn't. But I'll show you anyway. This is, of course, part, you know, what you get with the, the food selling trucks that they sell. There's your dashboard. I've shown it upside down. <laughs> there you have it, quite cool. No decals for that, I'm pretty sure there isn't, but there's of course your wiper blades. There are various parts in this that aren't used because it's just sort of the generic parts that you get. There's the steering wheel and a little bit of the exhaust. Headlight surrounds and little grill area. And that's uh, the front bumper. And you've got these sort of sort of steel wheels, but they're not. They're quite cool. I like those. Some sort of antenna thing. I'm just checking if these aren't actually used. That isn't used. That's like some sort of sign thing with the other ones. And those aren't used as well. Hmm. That is strange. Not strange, but you know, it's just what you usually get with the kits. Now this is, of course, your Game Center specific sort of sprue, if you want to say that. These are just all the pieces that you put together for the games cabinets. You have got a young boy there that sits in one of the games and plays it. Detail is quite good on that. There are his arms. <laughs> And you've got a few other little pieces and bits and pieces there. You've got sort of like the gun for the shooting games, steering wheel for the driving games, you know, that sort of thing. Here's a really cool joystick as well, which I presume is probably for the baseball one. But should be quite a fun build, really. Something very different. Now, this part... Oh, I can tell you right now that the chassis is a bit of a letdown. But all these parts are used. I'm just double-checking the instructions. Now this isn't meant to be, you know, a super detailed build, but that chassis is really bad for Aoshima. That's probably the the worst chassis I've ever seen in terms of detail. It's so shallow. But not to worry, you know, like I said, it's not the sort of thing that you go mad on detail. You know, it, it's quite a cool escape really to build this. You know, do something a little bit different. Quite basic steering arms. I don't think you get any brakes in this actually. 
There's the back of the cab sort of thing with the headrests. And there's your very simple suspension area. Gear knob and handbrake and your wing mirrors. And there is your interior. Two seats. And that is about it really. Not a lot of leg room. I don't think I'd better fit in there, but that's that one. Now, here are the wheels that you are meant to use because I'll show you. The tyres have got little grooves in them. There's of course your rod and your poly caps. And this is why, because the wheels are like that, they're sort of Ravel looking. But yeah, here you have it. There's of course your back, pop the poly caps in, and away you go. Now your final sprue is a clear sprue, and I can tell you now that a lot of these pieces aren't actually used. I'll show you the pieces that are, and then you know I'll just show you the, the you know the remaining bits. Of course, you'll use your windscreen and side windows, and these little pieces here. That's for the roof bit that you cut out, and you've got various other little tiny bits there. Rear screen is there, which is actually really hard to show. There you go. And what are the bits? You you do use these bits. Uh, sorry, you don't actually use that, but I'm getting confused now. It's that piece that you use. You, you do use those bits, and all these bits here aren't used. These are for like the lanterns that you know hang outside the other ones. And the only other bits you use are those two, where my fingers are. But yeah, they're just various lanterns and things like that, and what you you know what you use with the other kits. But yeah, let me know what you think, guys. It's a you know it's a fun little kit from Aoshima. It, all their Suzuki carry kits are the same. There's various different options. They've even brought out a fish one uh, recently, which which looks really cool. I do like that one. You even get the you know the ice boxes and stuff like that, which you know is a nice little touch. Um, I'm gonna mark it down for the chassis because that really is bad. You know, it, it's not good at all. Um, but apart from that, I can't see any fault really. They build well. I've seen a few of the other ones built, and they, you know, they get good reviews in terms of you know fitment, quality, etc. And I think you guys should get one if you ever get bored and stuck in a rut of building the same things. You know, I've generally got Japanese coupes, you know, Japanese cars, the odd supercar, and sometimes I just get bored doing a Jap car, and it's nice just to you know do something completely different. And this is the perfect example because it's not very expensive either. So yeah, go and get, grab yourself one, guys. If you're not a fan of decaling, I wouldn't uh, recommend it because there is a lot of decals involved. But yeah, I, apart from the chassis, I can't fault it. It's a cool little kit. Really chuffed for that. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you've built one or if you plan to, if you fancy an escape and just doing something quick and simple, go for it. It should be great fun doing that. And coming up next, we've got the Aoshima Toyota Hilux RN30 single cab short body Cal look. And I'll see you there, guys. Take it easy. Bye-bye.